you can play games you have sudoku tetris a lot of games and as soon as the driver looks on my display you see that if the driver releases his eyes off my display i can look again it soaks in the air from the outside which you can see is completely unhealthy for us filters the entire air and gives us good air instead i would definitely consider the eqs of being one of the best long distance travel cars out there hello guys i am back today welcoming you all with the brand new mercedes-benz eqs the first full electric s-class by mercedes-benz and today it will be a very spontaneous video because i will be telling you more about a long distance travel with this full electric vehicle okay we are right now at an ionity charger station and we are charging up the car preparing ourselves for our drive and in today's video i will give you my full experience we will be also driving the eqs and i will be talking more about an electric vehicle an ev as a long distance traveler follow me inside let's jump inside the eqs now guys we have a gorgeous interior here let me jump inside and as soon as i push the brakes the car door closes automatically now here you can see that the car is charging currently at 102 kilowatts we have an ionity charging station that can fill up to 300 kilowatts but with the eqs i think there's a limit at about 150 uh, or almost reaching this limit as you can see electric range is rising and rising already 204 miles when i reach this spot here we had less than 50 percent i just want to prepare the car for two hour drive we are close to london we will be driving to the euro tunnel at folkestone and then travel from there to germany it already gives me a remaining time charging process so it needs 36 minutes to get the battery up to 100 percent we have a fast charger port here which is very very cool next to a service station which means that you can leave your car here you can charge it and while your car is charging you go inside grab some food buy some groceries it's super super nice and comfortable i will be also doing a separate video where i talk about the charging options the charging itself because in some certain points it might be a, di a bit difficult to understand but as i already drove the way from germany up to london the uk first of all i have to mention the miles and the percentage the range everything on this car is very precise it concentrates on every single factor when driving on the topography on the temperature on the traffic every single detail it will be considerate and then it calculates all these numbers you see here but yeah let's talking guys i will be now starting to drive as soon as we reach about 80 percent and then guys it's time to hit the roads inside the new eqs so guys we are now on the move we have around 50 miles left to Folkestone to the euro tunnel and yeah let me give you and tell you some interesting things and features about the eq and electric drive inside the eqs uh, first of all before i do that i want to mention that the drive itself is extremely comfortable uh, the driving position is not comparable with the S-Class. You sit way higher inside the EQS, which I don't get why, but still, I feel like the you don't get tired at all. Uh, for me, the S-Class was the perfect long-distance traveler, but the EQS is way better. And I also can't wait to finally drive the EQS SUV or EQE SUV, because I think these cars will be way, way more comfortable uh, than this one. But uh, there's something that, uh, cool I have to demonstrate to you, okay? So as we have the hyper screen here with the navigation system and everything, you go here and we have the EQ menu, okay? You move to the EQ menu and here you can see how much range we have left. We have in total 204 miles range left. And now if you, yes, struggle to reach your destination with these miles, which we don't do, but still you can then maximize the range. You can minimize the use of the AC or switch it down to eco mode. This will get you plus six miles. You can also win one mile when you enable the restricted functions in the interior. I think then it will shut down the co-driver display here 
plus you also have the eco drive functions when you activate them for example the car switches to d minus it will try to generate more range throughout your drive plus you can't really push it that much so you don't have 100 percent of the power instead you have like 60 or 70 maybe even less and with that you can also win 26 miles of range so in total you can uh, maximize your range up to 34 miles but yeah let's just try to do that maximize the range and you can instantly see the co-drives display is off the climate control functions are restricted and also the main display is off you see that and now if you look at this point here you see the intelligent recuperation is on and you don't have 100 percent of your power this is kind of weird but as i mentioned if you really struggle to reach your destination with a certain amount of miles or range i think this is a very cool feature you guys one of the coolest features with the hyper screen is that here you can play games you have sudoku tetris a lot of games i think uh, you can even expand this and download more games but i'm just playing sudoku and there's something very interesting on this you have eye trackers inside this car okay and as soon as the driver looks on my display you see that okay if the driver releases his eyes off my display i can look again this is so interesting just to not distract the driver from the driving this is so nice and i tried to outplay the system but it doesn't work the only way you can out you kind of outplay the system is when you wear sunglasses but this system is so precise with tracking your eyes it instantly spots when the driver is looking on the display this is so nice so as you can see we are right inside the euro tunnel we just made it we had like six minutes left we're stuck in a traffic jam but finally we are inside the euro tunnel and now it's time to drive off to france let's go and we have a total range of 168 miles it's almost close to 50 percent so we are we are good to go guys just look at this okay uh, we are right now inside the euro tunnel inside the train and you have with the climate control settings you can also check the air quality inside and this shows you the air outside which you can see now i've never had this before it says it's like 72 pm 2.5 70 and it's unhealthy whereas in the inside since we have the hepa filter it's 1 pm 2.5 it's good as you can see it's green so what it does is it soaks in the air from the outside which you can see is completely unhealthy for us filters the entire air and gives us good air instead i mean this is something we definitely need especially for the big cities and the traffic so guys we are here for our last stop and charging we are just somewhere random in belgium the navigation showed us an amazing place to have um, the car getting charged and us to have some rest get some stuff to eat it's like very very cool the way it already calculates the road is just so advanced it charged something about 115 kilowatts when we push it up from 24 percent up to 80 and after that it went all the way down to 40 kilowatts 37 kilowatts five percent left until it's full the charging time now is like 14 minutes we have now with this max 616 but about 500 kilometers of range which is pretty pretty good but we'll keep you updated guys as soon as we enter germany let's go so guys we have almost arrived in germany we are actually right now in germany and we have around about 20 minutes left of our trip now uh, it's also like dark right now and you have a very nice view on the ambient lighting and the hyper screen i just want to give you a final resume on the entire drive i would have never expected the drive to be so comfortable guys done this exact same thing with the base s class and i have to be honest with you the new eqs the electric s class is way more comfortable especially with this long distance travel it's just about the seating position i feel like inside the eqs you sit uh, way higher in the s class the base s class is a bit lower uh, the comfort level inside the eqs is a bit better because i mean you're driving an electric car all in all guys final final resume an electric vehicle as a long distance traveler 
is an amazing idea only if you want to travel from A to B just pure transportation if you need emotions if you want some fun while driving I guess you might stick with your combustion engine your AMGs or else but I think if you want to just simply travel from A to B have an amazing and comfortable ride this is the perfect way to go also if you want to travel with your family this is so nice so to finish it off let me also show you our yeah the charging menu our range right now we have 32 percent left which gives us about 154 kilometers in total range uh, which is pretty good and also the consumption from start you can see we did 24.3 kilowatts hour per 100 kilometers which is very impressive when i was driving the eqs on a pure city drive we were about 36 point something and also you can see in total we did almost 600 kilometers seven hour drive and our yeah average speed is at 83 kilometers an hour you can also see that here from the consumption line but all in all as i mentioned the ride was simply amazing super comfortable i would definitely consider the eqs of being one of the best long distance travel cars out there only if you have the infrastructure when talking about charging stations such as the fast charging stations from Ionity which we had close to our places. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Looking forward to see you all again and wish you all an amazing day. I will be back.